What up, y'all? Appreciate you showing up, hanging out, listening to my dumb ass, like and subscribe. So, it's the super dope dark night edition. <laughs> the dirt edition, if you will. I'm just playing. Um, wow. So, look, I, I cannot help the fact that all of the news coming out of the PlayStation camp is all negative. This has to be a sign of what's to come for PlayStation, right? I mean, no good news. Anyway, we're talking about the Bungie situation. We're talking about the deal that they made when they were purchased by Sony for 3.6 billion, I think it was. And I'm like, okay, 3.6 billion, that's a lot of money. And like 1.2 billion of it was uh, for retention, right? So basically to pay the salary of all of the employees for a certain uh, allotted amount of time, a year, two years, I'm not too sure what it was. I didn't do the math, but let's pretend it's two years, whatever it is, right? It doesn't matter. Um, that money is run out basically because they've owned them since 2022 i think that was so eh, maybe they have another year maybe they have another maybe they have until the uh the next expansion comes out you know and then that that hold money is gone the point is is that one bungie signed a contract that i would assume at the time seemed like oh boom it's cool but here's the thing this before i go on the the leadership the bosses the people who were most uh most likely to uh profit from this signed it and said whatever we're selling it you know we're not independent no more we're selling it we're gonna get our cash and we're gonna dash either they stayed on or maybe some left i don't know i don't know who got what i don't know how that two point what four billion was split i was i'm minus in the 1.2 billion for the salaries so 2.4 billion whatever it was right the 2 billion how, how was that split up and how many people got paid you know what i'm saying so that's what you got to ask yourself like who got paid and are they still a bungee or did they bounce and say Psh, whatever you know we're out we out meanwhile uh, bungee keeps keeps their independence with the caveat that or clause that uh, you have to make money, which makes sense because that's Sony kind of protect, protecting themselves. And what, I mean, that's that's the, the fair side, right? But then inside my mind, I'm like, well, I mean, Sony's kind of, they're kind of devious in their own little way. So I would assume like probably the same way that this deal went down, this contract, like how, it's, how the stipulations are, I will assume that Sony made not the sim not a similar deal, but similar in spirit to the Nintendo deal back in the day when they were when it was going to be the Nintendo PlayStation. Remember that when Sony was going to make the disc drive for the I believe it was Super Nintendo, and Nintendo was like, "Nah, we good," you know. But here, Bungie was desperate. They were like, "Shoot, we need money," and so they saw they saw all these billions, and they were like, "Let's go." Because they probably knew that they couldn't maintain whatever they were trying to do with, with Destiny, Destiny 2. I would say the only thing that would probably pull them out of this hole that they're in in order to make the money that they need to to be profitable is to release a Destiny 3. But they're not going to do that. So this final shape, it's not going to happen. It's not going to make them enough money to, to be profitable enough to not be taken over by Sony. That's that's the whole thing. I didn't even get to that part, but yeah. So in the contract that so, that Bungie signed, stipulates that if they don't make, uh, there's a threshold of money that they need to make in order to stay as independent. Independent. Meaning that if they don't make enough money, according to whatever the numbers are, uh, Sony has the ability to kick out the board members that aren't Sony and replace them and take over Bungie, basically. Bungie, Bungie is no longer independent. Let's just say that, okay? Let, let us let us not pretend that they're not, they're gonna make it out of it. They're not gonna make it out of this. Everybody, everybody's like, yeah, Destiny's kind of whack. We'll see what the final shape is. Final shape cannot 
solve all their problems. It's not going to happen. And so, you know, it's just, it's, it's like, it's like evil corporation Sony gets their way. Not really. But here's the thing about this whole thing. They don't really get their way because the problem with this whole situation is it's bad for everyone, right? I feel sorry. I wanted to say this at the top of the video, but I'm a dummy. But I feel bad for the people, the employees who are working there who love their job or loved their job. And now they kind of hate it because of the working conditions, because of management making it more difficult. It happens in every job. It happens in my job, my nine to five as well. And it's like, look, you're, you guys are doing things the dumb way. I've been doing this for 30 years. Let me explain how it's more efficient this way. And they don't want to hear it because they have some idea that this is how it should be done because some numbers on a paper says so or whatever their ex explanation is. And I'm like, well, I have real real life experience, so I'm just going to keep doing it my way and we'll, we'll see what happens. But anyway, Sony does not have the ability to run Bungie. Why do I say that? They bought Bungie because they didn't have the ability to make games as service games. They failed year after year, time after time. So now, with Sony in charge of Bungie, how is that going to work? They're going to fail. They're going to fail anyway. I mean, Bungie's failing right now. Sony in charge, going to automatically fail. I, how is that? It doesn't make any sense. They bought them to fill a hole in their incapable, the expertise of Bungie. I guess they're not that expert because 45% down on revenue, not profitability, revenue. That's not even to speak on what their profits were. I will assume that it's, it's bad. And here's the other thing that you have to think about, right? Sony was already down bad, right? They're, they're razor thin margins, right? And now Bungie, is is 45 percent lower than what they you know anticipated predicted whatever that is affecting sony's bottom line as well you're like oh bungie's independent no they're not independent they are as far as operational for now but money wise no they're not they are a sony owned company meaning guess what it affects sony now it doesn't affect playstation per se but you know, this is the whole of Sony and PlayStation makes a big part, makes up a big part of Sony's money. And when something that is ten, that is tangent, tangentially associated with PlayStation, Bungie, minus 45 percent or 45 percent lower than what is supposed to be. That's not happiness over at the Sony side. Sony, the Sony execs are like, what the hell is this right here? And so they're the. Bungie's bottom line is affecting Sony's bottom line. And this is why this is gonna that's this is why this hostile takeover is gonna happen. It's not a hostile takeover because they signed a contract. It's not like yeah, yes, they don't want it to happen, but they signed the contract. So it doesn't matter if they don't want it to happen. They have signed a piece of paper that will allow it to happen within certain parameters. So you can call it a hostile takeover if you want to, but it's not. It's a you failed in your fiduciary responsibilities, so we got to make some changes. Over. <laughs> and it's it's funny that everything is falling apart on a PlayStation. Everything is falling apart, and these donkey unicorns and some ponies. They're not talking about it because they are, they're flustered, they're flabbergasted, they're angry, they're upset. They're definitely going through grief right now. You know, ever since ABK closed, it's been an avalanche of bad news from, from PlayStation. What, what good news have you heard? Maybe it's happening now. Maybe the Game Awards is going to be nice. Who knows? I think it started like two minutes ago. Who knows? I'm not going to watch it right now. I'll wait until I get home. But it's, it's crazy that, um that Bungie has fallen so far. And, and I've, I've listened to a lot of, of uh, YouTubers talking about, oh, Bungie had this hubris and blah, blah, blah. And remember I said in videos before, I was like, how are you gonna let Bungie 
dictate your like games of service plan and like say no to the last of us uh what you call it factions when they're kind of aren't they messing up over there they're not doing too well of a bunch of bunches not doing too well right and and look what look what we got look what we got and people are like oh jim ryan didn't get fired they have cookies with his face on it i'm like look they could do all this this tap dancing and all this facades to make it look like he didn't get fired he's not there because he failed on many levels he failed on the bungee acquisition because that's costing sony money he failed on the not getting ABK, abk not closed or blocked so here's another thing microsoft went off the ab went after abk they got abk right when that closed immediately microsoft's worth more money microsoft's making more money automatic boom bit boom it was like bam money just money oh give me the oh let me bathe in the money sony buys bungie it's been a year or whatever year and a half whatever they lost the money you remember how all the ponies are here because they're all just microsoft has to sell this and that it needs to be multi-platform because they got to make the money back for the 69 billion no they don't because they already made their money back it's ridiculous how much money they've made not even with just like candy i mean it's like candy crushes everything and it's like so it felt like like sony buying bungie was a response to the abk thing and maybe it was but it was not a good move like I've always said, Sony's playing checkers and Microsoft is playing 29D chess. They're still playing 29D. They knew when this deal closed, they looked at the numbers. I said this before and they're like, man, we can't, we can't be. When Matt Booty said we need to outspend Sony, basically, this is what it, this, this is what it was. Just one file swoop, swoop. And now guess what? Microsoft 50% profitability ups. You know what I'm saying? Profits up, all this and that. It's just, it's, it's crazy. I I don't know what the next bad news is gonna be from Sony. And you 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 think about, I was thinking about this today, like, oh, what are, I wonder what the games are gonna be for PlayStation in 2024. People are like, oh, uh, the 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 game with the with the which I forgot what it's called. It's a sec, it's a sequel. And I'm like, that's not, no. <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's, a, it's exclusive, but it looks not like a good game. Uh, I totally forgot what it's called, but um, that goes to show you. And then now they're trying to claim Grand, Grand Theft Auto is there. Come on, man, it can't. It's just, well, anyway, bottom line, my thought is um, it's hilarious. Uh, I, I feel for the people who are working there who now hate their job. My advice to the people who are working at Bungie right now, who feel that they probably won't be working there or do not want to work there anymore, get your resume together, get the stepping. Bounce, if you can, bounce, because they're gonna fire you anyway. They literally said, yeah, that lever on the firing, yeah, that's gonna happen if we don't make that money. Dude, they've been doing so many boots. Yo, if I was at a company and they were like, yeah, we're going to cut your benefits. We couldn't know the holiday party. We cutting this. We couldn't that. We couldn't do, 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 do. I'm like, I mean, I don't care about holiday party, but I'm just saying benefits and like bonus. I think it was a uh, holiday bonuses or something like that. I'm like, and, and they cut some stupid stuff like, oh, it's the the baking class or whatever. <laughs> some, some crazy. Like, I mean, I understand team building and all that stuff, but yeah. So I'm like, nah, they're, they're done. Bungie's done. Bungie's done, and then under Sony, Bungie's definitely done. So, Marathon? I got I got zero expectations from Bungie right now. I didn't really like Destiny at all anyway, and I'm kind of glad that Bungie left and Microsoft built the new studio. And if you don't realize, a lot of the people who were at Bungie stayed and went to 343 to make Halo, so... You know, when you think about Bungie, you know, even 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 Joseph Staten, you know, he was at Microsoft for years. He just he just bounced, but he's been he's been around. So anyway, I appreciate you. I'm just rambling at this point, but 
appreciate y'all hit me up in the comments below i'm pretty much i'm pretty sure i forget some stuff but it's dark and i i, I act different when it's dark i'm sorry um and let me know what y'all think about the sony taking over bungie which will happen i'm, I'm predicting it. it's gonna happen in the future i guess probably next year sometime um 2024 uh let me know what you think and do you think bungie will be able to worm their way out of this you know make enough money to be like all right we're out or maybe you get a get somebody to loan them a loan to buy, buy themselves out of the deal or something i don't know we'll see well, that is if sony wants to sell who knows you know whatever but anyway i appreciate y'all and remember, like and subscribe and stuff. I'm trying to get up to 500. I'm at 418, I think. It's not that much, you know. Compared to, yeah, Colt Eastwood and all these other guys. Even Turboverse got more subs than me. She, all he does is Twitter. Twitter comments. But he does do the ASMR. He's like, hey, what's up, y'all? Turboverse TV. So maybe I should start doing uh, the sexy, deep voice. Like, hey, hey y'all. How y'all doing? some crinkles or something. <laughs> anyway, I appreciate it. I'll talk to y'all in the next one. Touch the weight.